I just added a thumbnail to my YouTube video. Uh, it's a woman wearing a snake. And uh, you know, we know the old biblical story of Adam and Eve and all that. And I could go on and on about that. But Eve was in the first, uh, it was Lilith. There's a lot of books that was left out of the Bible, but I'm not getting to that now. So anyway, the snake is actually a symbol uh, in different places, like a wisdom and uh, good luck, you know. And it was seen as, you know, as a good thing. So um, you look at these images and you wonder, you know, like if you look at back in the day, like when Hitler was around, to the German people, Hitler thought he was Jesus. Some I read some, some documentary documentary that hypnotized him, they believed that. He actually thought he was like the Messiah of the German people. And so did millions of people that live in Germany at that time. They didn't care about the crimes, but the rest of the world he was the Antichrist. And you know, Jesus, the Christ, you know, I was saying his last name. He was seen by the Roman Empire, Empire as a threat. And today's standards, he'd be considered like a terrorist or something. So, uh, but to the rest of the people that are compassionate, that's not, we forget that religion. It's all rituals and ceremonies and extravagance. But it was about compassion. It was to the rest of the people, it's just a franchise. It's supposed to be a symbol of compassion and a philosopher. And you know, I can relate to that. So, if that's the case, you know, yeah, sure. He was cool with me. I got no problem with that. Harry Tubman, freed, this is the word freed. I forget how many people, I think it was like 500. And I saw the movie, it was really good, Harry um, uh, Tubman, about Harry Tubman. And uh, to the people who own people, I won't give them the title of slave master, their own kidnapped Africans, they saw her as the Antichrist. Of course, they lost money and you know, God said to obey your master. So, you know, I already said something about that earlier in another video. But uh, to, uh, to people who were enslaved, she was a messiah figure. And I just look at Bruce Lee's messiah figure. They always dis disrespect Asian people as, you know, whatever, like little pigtails and buck teeth. I remember seeing cartoons like that, you know. And then uh, when Bruce Lee came, oh, man, he was good looking. He could kick your butt. He had charisma. It was just like the whole world was like Bruce Lee mania. So, uh, but to people that didn't make money off him from Hong Kong and, you know, cause he was his own free thinker. Um, you know, to a lot of people that he showed, uh, the, uh, I take Kung Fu now and he's highly revered, obviously. And, uh, you know, he brought the Eastern way of martial arts into a Westerners. And I think he was the first one. So he was messianic.